Denmark has in the last 24 months become one of Europe's hottest data center destinations. Kim Schlutz, Special Advisor to Invest in Denmark, talks through what the government is doing to help the industry and where the market is heading in 2019. Uh, Kim, thanks a lot for talking to me. Uh, you just announced a Google data center. There's a lot of other projects coming. Apple is meant to break ground next year um, in Aberdeen. Is there a risk of lack of power in Denmark or an oversupply at any point? There's always a, a risk of a lack of power in terms of a transmission capacity. So we have uh, the Danish national TSO, EnergyNet, who are planning 10 years ahead in terms of building out the, the grid. So, but of course there can be uh, temporary issues where, where uh, power capacity is lacking in, in the grid. Okay, and I guess most of those 10-year plans would include a lot of renewable energy. Uh, absolutely, yeah. so th that's a decision by the government and the, the parliament that by 2030 uh, all power in Denmark should be renewable. Mm. Okay, and then when we're looking to the, the Danish government and even the Nordic government as well, especially the Danish at this point, uh, there's a lot of tax reductions for data centers when it comes to power, to, to building. The application process is quite quick as well here. Yeah. Um, according to the Secretary of State, it's the fastest in Europe or yeah. the world. Yeah. Um, what else can the government do to help accelerate this data center momentum? Well, uh, first of all, we, we have some very good framework conditions, meaning that it is, in, in fact, very easy to set up a business and uh, to have permits in, in Denmark. That's very important. And uh, then, of course, uh, we have a very flexible labor law in Denmark, so that means that it's, it's very easy to uh, upscale and downscale your, your workforce in Denmark. So that's also quite Im important. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we, of course, uh, work a lot in Denmark in terms of uh, making our digital community even more digital. So we are ranked by the EU as the most digital EU nation, and uh, we definitely uh, use a lot of resources to, to keep that place. Okay. And looking at the Nordic region as a whole, what are you guys doing with Sweden, Norway, Iceland, uh, and Finland as well? So yeah. Forth? So we have a lot of similarities uh, and we do exchange a lot of, uh, of power mm. between the Nordic countries. So on the very windy days we export a lot of power to, to Norway and Sweden and mm. on the non-windy day it's uh, vice versa. Okay. So, so we have a lot of uh, cooperation in terms of, uh, of energy and we have a common uh, energy market uh, which is uh, virtually the same market price of, of energy. We have a good uh, cooperation in the, in the Nordic Council of Ministers which, by the way, uh, just uh, sponsored a report uh, which was uh, which is evaluating the benefits of the Nordics in terms of uh, the data center business. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so this is a cooperation that we uh, we have, and we are going to increase. Okay, one of the conversations that came up at the Nordic 2018 in Copenhagen was the let's call it the battle between the Nordics and the flap markets. So Frankfurt, London, Amsterdam, yeah. and Paris. Do you see the Nordics becoming bigger than the flat markets? Do you see them becoming the sort of same on the scale? That, that's a, a good question, but the fact is that uh, uh, the flap areas are running into uh, issues in terms of uh, power supply and space and uh, permits. So quite by default, uh, a lot of the future uh, increase in the data center capacity will go north. Mm. Okay. And then looking ahead into 2019, we've got 12 months until the next event yeah. you know, in Copenhagen. Uh, what do you expect to change in Denmark and maybe the Nordics? Uh, what's going to change in the data center space? Yeah, in, in, in at least from our point of view, uh, invest in Denmark, we will focus a lot on, uh, on the smaller part of the data centers, the co-locations, uh, medium-sized uh, cloud providers, and uh, we will focus a lot on our digital connectivity. So. We see Denmark as a future North European digital hub, and uh, that's what we are aiming at promoting. Okay, Kim, thanks all for talking to me. Um, don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and also visit the website on www.dataeconomy-.com.